who will it be? They are.
what is the most fun thing that you have done at Mr. World? Because we're the host country. So what has made it the most fun? Wow, actually there's too many, but if I'm gonna pick one, maybe it's gonna be the Slippery Stairs TV show. <laughs> yes, uh, we showered in lube and swam in lube, so I don't wanna see lube for a long, long time. And uh, all of the winnings we actually acquired from that show is we're gonna donate it to the Tuloy Foundation. All right, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Philippines, I'm always afraid of things. Like, there are just things that we're afraid of. I'm afraid of heights, and I hear that you have a phobia. Tell us more about it. A uh, phobia cats. Yeah, we done the extreme challenge down at the army base, and there was like, literally, it must have been about six months old kid. So everyone was all around about like, all lifting up, stroking it. I absolutely ran. <laughs> I ran to the other side of the room, so I'm absolutely petrified of cats. Oh my goodness, I guess I can't introduce you to my pet cat, Salem, then. No can do. All right, well, it's nice to know. We'll keep the cats away from you. All right, thank you so much, Northern Ireland. Okay, England. A lot of fans out there. All right, England. Now, I hear you're into karaoke. You are. Okay, so who's your karaoke partner here at Mr. World? Uh, firstly, Mabu Hai Philippines. Thank you so much for hosting uh, such a fantastic competition. I'm really proud to be representing England. And uh, I just want to say hello, Mum and Dad. They're up there. <laughs> that is a great question. So my duet partner in the karaoke is Mr. Tonga. Because what I do, is he sings and I mime. And then we sit there and we do a duet and it sounds incredible. So it's kind of like charades going on over here. He's singing and then you're just like moving along to it. I, I, I do this. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Well, we hope to see that in the future, hopefully off screen. <laughs> All right, now we have Austria. Okay, Austria, now a little tidbit for everybody out there. You're actually half Filipino. Yes, more. <laughs> Yes, and what did you feel when you found out that Mr. World would be held in your mother's homeland? So first of all, my Gabi, everyone, come on, How are you guys? It was, finding out that Mr. World will be held here was incredible. My mom went bananas. She's here somewhere, I haven't spotted her yet. <laughs> With my entire family, they're actually from Laguna, Los Baños. And it's an absolute pleasure to be hosted by my second home country, the Philippines. Thank you, everyone. All right, thank you so much, Austria. Okay, Dominican Republic. Now, we're all about health and fitness, and you're actually a spinning instructor. Yes, I am. First of all, Mabuhai, Philippines. Mabuhai. So what got you into becoming a fitness instructor or a spinning instructor? I just love to transform people's lives and I think it's a very good way to transform their lives doing fitness and doing exercise. Alright, well, maybe you can show us something or two when we visit the spinning studio, hopefully in Manila. You can be a guest, alright? Of course, why not? I'm sure a lot of people would sign up for that. Alright, thank you so much, Dominican Republic. Okay, Brazil, the last of the 12. Alright, okay, so you visited the Louis Foundation here in the Philippines. And you actually asked Father Rocky especially for a hug. Why is that? Firstly, Mabu, hi Filipinas! Um, that was a really important day for me because it was Father's Day in Brazil and I lost my father two years ago. And the Father's Hug is really on um, that for those kids, you know. And when he gave me the hug, you know, I feel like my dad's hug. And again, thank you very much, Father's Hug. That's re really good for me. Thank you very much. It's always an amazing feeling to see the Foundation and Father So you're very lucky you got to see them. All right, we will now know our top 12.